to Night Owl Fibers, a knitting podcast. My name is Rachel, and I'm the dyer behind Night Owl Fibers. You can find me on Instagram and Etsy as Night Owl Fibers, and on Ravelry as SweetNets 1997. And let's see, I will be linking the show notes in the down bar, so if you're interested in checking those out, that is where they will be. And thank you to all new and returning viewers. I really enjoy getting to sit down and chat about all things crafty with you. And let's see. Hmm. That is it. That's my little bit. So grab your knitting and let the crafting begin. Okay, so finished objects. I am looking at my notes because my brain is just not here today. But one thing I forgot to talk about last week was these really cute little um, sock ornaments that I knit up. I added a picture in. So I have one that's just red and green with contrast. And this has all the contrast colors. And then here is the red and white one. I braided my little ends to make hangers because I didn't want to weave in all the ends. Surprise, surprise. So I have three little ornaments. And let's see, the pattern is Little Sock Ornaments by Tin Can Knits. So it's a really great pattern. This is a paid for pattern, but she does have a ornament pattern that's free. They're um, not socks, but they look cute. So maybe those will be in my future, but I really liked having something a little Christmassy, get me in the spirit. Um, they were knit on US 3. 3.25 millimeter and I used night owl fiber yarn so I dyed up the yarn for these it's a DK weight and they were a lot of fun I put together some kits but I don't I no longer have those available but they turned out really cute I might have to find some scraps of some other yarn and knit up a fourth since there are four people in my family and there are only three ornaments here Let's see, so Little Sock Ornament by Tin Can Knits, if you're looking for the pattern. And then I finished another object, Um, actually finished it a couple days ago, maybe five days ago, and I haven't had a chance to wear it, but it is the Ellery Hat by Tin Can, no, it is the Ellery Hat by Olive Knits. This is like the only one today I have the printed off picture for, and you can see it's in kind of sad shape, but it is right here. And I finished it up. The decreases were really interesting. The way they were, um, as you can tell, the stitch patterning is mimicked throughout the crown, and there isn't much crown decreasing see maybe the decreasing started here so that's not too much um, the yarn I used is the potion master in night all fiber yarn that is coming out so true to color right here um, sometimes the camera blows it out and I've been having to insert pictures but that is a really great representation of color um, it's a speckle yarn it's done on 80 20 merino nylon on a high twist base I did 2x2 two two rib with a US2 2.5 millimeter, and then I used a US3 3.25 millimeter for the main stitch section of the hat, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. It is, I would say, good for a somebody who knows the basics and wants to play a little bit more with stitches and enjoy a interesting technique. It works well with the speckled yarn as you can see, but I'm interested to see it in a um, semi-solid tonal and I think I have a scheme for that. So maybe I'll have more cast on soon. I seem to be in the cast on mood. Um, So that is a finished object, and it fits really nice. I just don't feel like wearing a hat right now. I'm already wearing a sweater. And the sweater I'm wearing is 
Wanderling by Isabel Kramer. So it has this um, faux cable here and then it has a faux cable panel on the back. So you're not actually cabling, but it's a really interesting technique. And it's got garter instead of ribbing, which is really nice. And I enjoy wearing it. It's probably one of my best fitted sweaters and it's knit out of sport weight. Okay, so that's all for my finished objects. Now I have works in progress because I am always working on something. Um, so I have in this lovely autumn bag, I have my, the, not mine, it's my mom's, that I'm knitting her, the Find Your Fade, and my goal was to finish this over the next two weeks. And that did not happen because it wasn't as mindless of a knit as I needed for card knitting. So of course you cast something else on for card knitting. But I did get some work on this done. I have in former show notes the colorways linked. So if you're looking for those, and I'll name off the colorway I'm currently working with, which is Uptown Funk by Fondant Fiber. I started the lace section and I think I'm halfway through the lace section. And I went from the little coffee marker all the way up. Bring that closer for you. And so I did get a bit done before I started to feel a little ill from the car ride. Um, but that was, I think, the first day of travel. And then we had a couple more days after that where I just kind of watched the scenery. I um, got so bored without knitting and I thought, oh, I can't knit on anything because I'll get car sick. Turns out I just needed stocking knit projects, so I alleviated that problem on the ride home. Anyway, I was just staring at the scenery, um, but knitting, it'll happen. I'll finish that eventually. Um, it's being knit on a US 5 3.75 millimeter. And let's see, next up, I'm just going to get the plain vanilla socks out of the way because you've seen them a lot if you've been watching. And uh, my needles, my cords, everything is a mess. Okay, I did get some work on the sock done. It went from the cannoli marker all the way up. I have the heel marker in, so if I fold it where I'm going to put my afterthought heel in. I'm right here, so I think I want to finish this orange stripe and then work on the ribbing. And then I'll probably just put in a movie and knock out a good portion of the second sock once I finish this one. Because generally, I knit the second socks a lot faster than I do the first socks. Because uh, at that point, I'm just eager to get the finished pair. That is being knit on US 1 2.25 millimeter. And the colorway is Halloween by The Yarn Jar in the 2-ply twist base. Okay, now on to something that got quite a bit of progress. I believe I showed these last time, and this is coming out true to color. It's not blown out. For some reason, I got the lighting just right today. <laughs> Everything's coming out really nice on camera. And here is a uh, progress marker that I got in a, well, it wasn't really a swap. Somebody was just kind and gave it to me at the show that I was vending at. So I think it's really cute. I haven't seen one like it before. So it's just like these little faux leather and clasp and then it's a clip-on kind of like light bulb shaped progress marker. So I am, here's my heel marker. I started my ribbing. I might do another 10 rows of ribbing and then bind off. As long as they're tall enough to be seen outside of my combat boots because this yarn is too amazing not to be seen with combat boots. Yeah. Okay, so the yarn is Night All Fibers Boogeyman versus Frankenstein in the high twist base and 2.25 millimeter US 1 needles. They're very sharp. And I'm using the Yarn Cozy to keep my cake from getting all kinds of dog hair on it and getting all messed up. 
and based on the way I was throwing it in bags over the past month, it has been working because I've been, I can't seem to stick to one sock bag. Anyway, next was a project that I left at home and I didn't have it for 11 days, but yet I got work on it, more work on it than I did the shawl that I brought with me. So I finished the sleeves to the Nurtured Sweater by Andrea Mowry. So I have the sleeves here, two sleeves on one cord with my interchangeable stoppers. Um, so they're ready, all done. Sleeve Island, I am off of it. And I am now on to the body of the sweater. I am six inches into the body, so from the ribbing all the way up to the needles, that is six inches. And the pattern says, I mean, it's a paid for pattern, but I mean, I'm not giving away the stitch pattern or anything, that I need to go to eight inches and then attach the sleeves and work the yoke not yoke, the raglan. So, um, yeah, this is kind of just a tube top on me right now. It is not a sweater. So I'm going to make the executive decision to knit to, I believe, 12 inches of body before I attach the sleeves. So that way I can wear jeans with it and it won't be strictly just for dresses and I really do like I'll bring it forward so you can see the stitch definition I didn't realize that the camera wasn't picking up on it but it's a really beautiful stitch pattern I've really enjoyed it this has been like the past two days that I have knit on this and I am using yarn yarn I am using yarn um, Patton's Classic Wool Worsted in the Gray Mix colorway. I think it's an undyed yarn. I know they have dyed versions, but I think that this one is undyed and just natural. I'm not bothering to alternate skeins because commercial yarn, not going to worry about it. And I am using US 6 4mm for the ribbing and a US 7. 4.5 millimeter for the body and I've used 200 and some odd grams of yarn now because this is my third ball and they're each 100 gram balls so I'm chipping away at the yardage on that and let's see next is a new cast on but the pattern might be familiar for some of you that have watched some of my other podcasts because I am knitting the same pattern again because I do re-knit patterns and I'm kind of just messing with the yarn right now because it got twisted because it fell and I am alternating skeins with this this I jokingly call is my cactus cardigan because it reminds me of the cactus in the desert and um, yeah so anyway it is the playdate cardigan by tin can knits so a lot of andrea mallory and tin can knit patterns i have attached the pockets and the pockets worked as the swatch because they're a four by four block that you knit so i knit two of those measured it, saw that I got gauge, and went ahead and cast on. I did two by two rib instead of a one by one rib, also on the pocket ribbing. Um, let's see, the yarn I am using, because I was bending and I was staring at my yarn, that is always a tempting thing to be around for me at least. So it is Night All Fibers in the Sidecar colorway. And so you can see the little bit of orange chunks and it speckles up really nice. And I love this pistachio color. I think it'll be a really nice color on me. And I contemplated not doing the pockets, but then I thought, you know what, why not? 
gives me something small to work on before I cast on the large number of stitches for the body. It's worked flat, so it's knit purl, knit purl, knit purl until you get to the portion where you start doing the right front, left front, and back. And yeah, it's like a vanilla sweater for me. I love knitting that pattern. I could, like, the way I have a vanilla sock on the needles, I could have a playdate cardigan on the needles like that. So I said the yarn, and I'm using US 3, 3.25 millimeter needle for the ribbing, and a US 4, 3.5 millimeter needle for the body of the sweater. And that is my works in progress. That's all of the works in progress. Except for the Nor'Eastern cardigan, which is cabled, which I have not touched since I got home. I have a feeling when I get around to it, I will probably knit a good chunk on it because that's the way cables go for me. They're kind of addictive. But I figured I would talk about Owl Post and what has come in the mail. And I mentioned the yarn jar. And I got another skein. So this is Retro by the yarn jar in her 3-ply sport weight base, which is an 80-20 merino nylon, 100 grams, 325 yards. So that definitely qualifies as sport weight. I love the teal in here with the brown, and orange is my favorite color, so it works. Here is the label, which I'm holding backwards. There we go. Here is the label. So you can see, um, I like the sport weight for the winter, and I don't have many sport weight socks, um, and it definitely is winter here in Houston, Texas. So I don't know if I'll cast these on, but this is my second skein of a sport weight self-striping yarn that's stashed. So I'm excited for that. I can't remember how many stripes are in the repeat, but I think it's about four, maybe five. And then while I was at the uh, venue that I was vending at, I have Lee Men Fiber Arts. This is their 50 gram skeins. I don't know what they call their 50 gram skeins. Anyway, it is Goth Queen, and Gothic Queen in their fingering weight base, 231 yards. And the reason why I got only this 50 gram skein is because I have two full skeins of this colorway for a sweater and that was not enough. And then I have one other 50 gram of a darker contrast in like this deep plum color. And this is like a light mauve color. So I needed more yardage. So I got more yardage and that was the extent of my purchases at that event because twist stitches uh, SoCal. I just did not feel like shopping. I was very happy with what I had and this came in the mail like a day before we left so I was very happy with it and nothing spoke to me so I kept my shopping to a minimum. Um, let's see, that is about it. I definitely want to cast on more. I want to cast on some hats because I want to get some to the charity. I just have been casting on sweaters. Anyway, hats are definitely a good thing to have on the needles and I plan on casting a couple more on. They're good stash busters also, so it never hurts to cast on a little bit more. Um, let's see. I can't think of much else that is on my mind as far as crafting goes. I haven't done any sewing, and yeah, I'm just pretty wiped out from the long drive all the way to California and then all the way back to Houston, but I really enjoyed getting to talk about my crafting and my knitting adventures with all of you. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!